Welcome to the esteemed halls of H.J. Cody High School. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to learn how to log on to our power school and our Gmail accounts. In addition, we're going to learn how to book our PLT times and to let the world know where we are during PLT. So watch closely, stay tuned, and we will educate. To sign into your power school, you first have to log on to a computer, much like this one, and then you need to log on to uh, Fox, Firefox or Internet Explorer if you're really, really old, or uh, Chromium. Hi Chase. Hi Tedris. How did you do on that essay? I don't know. Why haven't you checked power school yet? I don't know how. Well, can't you just check on your phone? Okay, so if you've never logged on to your Google account on your phone, uh, what you'll have to do is you'll have to begin by opening up a browser. So again, Safari if you're on an iPhone or uh, one of the other browsers if you're on Android. And you're going to have to go to google.ca and it will take you to this page. At this point, you're going to notice right up in the corner right there a sign-in uh, button. Click on the sign-in button and it will take you to the Google sign-in page. Uh, what you're going to put in here is your login, your CESD login, and you're going to add at CESD73.ca. So your login plus the at CESD73.ca. And it's going to take you, oh, you didn't put the 73 in. There we go. Okay, and at this point, it's going to take you to your password. You'll have to put your password in. We're going to quickly let Tyrese put his password in. And as soon as he gets his password in, he's going to click the sign in. And it takes him back to the Google page, but now he's actually signed into Google. Uh, from here, you're able to access uh, all of your uh, documents and various other uh, points of of going forward. Now if you log in on a school computer it will automatically log you into your Gmail account but if you don't or if you've never been on a school computer before you have to go to the Google page. So you open up uh, Google Chrome or Firefox and you go to the sign in on the top right hand corner of the page click sign in it'll take you to this now, Tyrese has signed in before, but if not, you would need your CESD email. Your CESD email is your login that you were given when you registered, uh, and uh, then a password that you were given as well. So Tyrese is going to log, he's going to put his password in. And we're all trying to secretly see what his password is. And then he signs in. Now, at this point, he has access to the internet. He can uh, use it as he wishes. So he's going to go on to PowerSchool. PowerSchool uh, is not available uh, quickly and easily here, but if you go to the H.J. Cody School account, so go to the page at the top and type in hjcody.ca. Here, Tyrese can go to the PowerSchool link on the left-hand side of the page. And when he clicks on that, it'll take him to the PowerSchool login page. Here he's going to need his PowerSchool login. Tyrese, do you know your PowerSchool login? Of course I know my PowerSchool login. Well then, here he's going to put his PowerSchool login in. And his password. And this will give Tyrese access to his schedule and his grades and everything that he needs to know with PowerSchool. Hey, aren't you new? Yeah, and I don't know which PLT I'm supposed to be in. Well, let me show you how to book one. Well, ladies and gentlemen, at this point, we're going to show you now how to sign up for your PLT blocks. Tyrese has gone to the HJ Cody website, and on the HJ Cody website, he's going to page all the way down to the bottom. The bottom of the page, there's the quick links. Halfway down the quick links menu, you will see a link called PLT sign up. Uh, this is getting fuzzy, so we're going to back up again. PLT sign up. He's going to click on the PLT sign up on Quick Links. 
and it's going to take him to this wonderful page here. And this wonderful page, he's going to put his name in, Tyrese Hamilton. Oh, he's going to go Hamilton Tyrese. Because he's a funny guy. He's going to select his advisory teacher. His advisory teacher is... Miss Donaghy. Miss Donaghy. He's going to select his block one teacher. His block one teacher is... Okay, we're just gonna we're just gonna say that his advisory teacher is Mr. Paul, or his first block teacher is Mr. Paul. Okay, then what he's gonna do at this point, he's gonna put in, he's gonna select his personal learning destination. So he's gonna select who he's going to go uh, to see during PLT, and in this case, he we're gonna have him come see me. So he's now gonna type in what he's gonna be working on. So what he's gonna be working on is uh, better essay writing, or in this case. Uh, he's writing sports because, well, it's Tyrese Hamilton, and that's what we're going to go with. Uh, so at this point, you go down a little bit further on the page, and you hit the Submit button. Uh, prior to hitting the Submit button, if you want to get a copy of your response, you can do that. So hit the Submit button, and what that will do is that will actually let everyone know uh, where Tyrese is during PLT uh, and what he's going to be working on. Good job, Tyrese. So we're now going to show you guys how to book your PLTs uh, on your phones. It's going to start off by going into Safari if you've got a, an iPhone or into uh, whichever browser you use if you have an Android. And then you're going to go to the HJ Cody website. That's hjcody.ca. On the left-hand side, in the or right on the column there, you can see it says... Uh, power school if we're doing power school but right now we're going to do the PLT so scroll all the way to the bottom of the page and you're going to find where it says quick links right there and at the quick links page you're going to click the PLT student sign up it's going to take you to a form now here's the thing is unless you've signed into your Google account on your phone before you'll have to sign into your Google account before you get to the form However, once you sign into your Google account, which we'll show you in just a, just a minute, uh, you'll get to the form, and the form is pretty easy to fill out again. You put your name, you select your advisory teacher, your block one teacher, and if uh, Chase scrolls down a little here, uh, you can see you will select uh, where you're going to go for your PLT and let your teacher know what you're going to be doing. Uh, this is all accessible right on your phones, whether you have an iPhone, uh, like Chase does, or whether you have an Android as well.